it's looking worse and worse for Liv. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like the fact, like, I was starting to get a little bit of optimism for Liv. Bit more optimistic for her when she was like, oh, this dude's actually, like, when he touches me, I don't feel good anymore. Like, I feel like he's a creep. I know, like she, she was, was starting to dislike him and coming around, but now, like, there's a part of me that's almost worried that not only is she going to turn into this god, but that she's going to be somehow romantically linked to the multi, to the prince, the, uh, the Omnicrome prince She does prince have kind something. of a weird infatuation with yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Even when he's like, he corked his smile, which is con all burns. Mm -hmm. And she's yeah. like, I don't even see those anymore. I think mm -hmm. there's a really big correlation with the color prince and Gavin. Yeah. With her, like, Gavin's yeah. this larger than life character. Yeah. Semi-god. Like, he's not a god, but... The things he can accomplish yeah. is ridiculous, and she sees some of it. Yeah, and now she's on the other side, and she sees the color prince do the same type of things. Yeah, and she has that infatuation. She he treats her like an adult. Her like her opinion matters. Yeah, I mean he definitely has like a lot of the qualities that people would find attractive. You know, people yeah. like skill and power, and I, you know he, stuff like yeah, that. He, he shows a lot of uh, qualities with Gavin. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Dude, I hated, I hated that, uh, I, I mean, I love the scene. I, I hated, like, if I'm thinking from the character perspective of the Observer, mm -hmm. the moment when it was like, you're right, he treats me like adult, and my dad doesn't treat me like anything. And the only thing that I can think of is, like, that's how much of a child you are. Right. Yeah. And um, it's just like, that was in, by intent, and that's how it always is when you see those those guys who manipulate young people into doing their make like, them feel will. yeah oh, yeah make them feel like you're she's like 17 yeah 18? yeah no she's like two years older than 17. Kids, so 17 yeah so oh by now she might be 18 we don't know yeah. it's been months and months because like we, we don't have a birthday yet um we didn't read about a birthday yeah. but yeah i mean from the point that uh gavin leaves the ship in book one to the first time that he even gets back not the second time he gets back. The first time he gets back, it's been four or five months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at at least a half a year. Yeah. And like when you're 18, 17, you feel like an adult. Yeah. Because you have freedom to do yeah. stuff you never had before. Yeah. And then it's just, you're just not quite there yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, the strange thing is, is that I think, I think, uh, I think society generally has two things that are conflicting, but oh. correct. Yeah. One is that 18 year olds aren't adults. And like, I feel like society both treats young adults younger than they should treat them, but also yeah. doesn't realize that they're still too young to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's they, like they're conflicting, yeah. but it's like... Like, I don't know. It's it's super weird because, like, yeah. you think back, like, in places with, like, real hardships, like, times or places with real hardships, yeah. kids can be very adult-like. Yeah. And oh, they yeah. grow up super quick and they can mature super quick. But even in those times, they're still kids and don't yeah. have experience and can do stupid stuff because of their youth. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, like, weird. You're, like, in this place of both being an adult but not really knowing what you're talking about. It's super weird. Exciting to see that because the adults would be, like... Though at one moment be like, be an adult, why are you acting like a kid right now? Mm -hmm. And in the second moment, they'll be talking to other adults and like, you're just a kid, get away from me. Right. I'm talking adult stuff here. Exactly. Yeah. And they can't like make up their mind. Right. Of how they want to treat so them. So interesting. I think it's also very uncomfortable for us as adults to imagine people that age, even though they are, having mature, not mature, uh, having sexual desire already. Like, it's weird for us because it's like, oh, they're kids, you know? Yeah. And I think yeah. that also plays into it because you see them as a kid, you treat them as a kid, and then all of a sudden there's this guy now and he looks at you like a woman and stuff like that, and that could be very appealing to live, yeah. you know? Which it is. And yeah. even in her monologue, she's like, I just really like that he's giving me all this attention. I don't even like him yeah. that much. <laughs> right. She even says that. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other thing that's dangerous is that you see in the color prints is that they rely on their colors so much. Yeah. And even Liv is falling into that trap. She's drafting all the time. And oh, then yeah. suddenly she feels almost like, oh, it's weird that I'm drafting. Suddenly I'm drafting all the time to like change my personality. And it reminded me a lot of what you would think of as a drug. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I definitely like, saw that. 
I I thought of the the young artist in the first book. Yeah. Who just got addicted to it, and he was gonna. He was like twenty two, and he's gonna break his halo. Yeah. yeah. And then there's Liv, who just started all the time drafting, like to remain calm and collected because she was so off balance all the time. Yeah. yeah. And then she just does it without even realizing she was drafting to feel that calm. Yeah. I'm getting, uh, now that we're talking about it, I didn't feel, I didn't really make this correlation while we were, while I was reading it, but now that we're talking about it, I'm getting real, like, Charles Manson vibes now. <laughs> oh, from that guy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it's totally. like, you know, he's all like, you know, man, why should they have control over our bodies, man? You know, it's yeah. like, <laughs> let us free love, have the choice. You know, it's like this, oh, by the way, the choice means that I have control yeah, over Yeah, it's like this, yeah. this free love, free thinking hippie, but psychopath. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I I'm re- so this is obviously the second time I've read this book, and um, I get creeped out by that guy even more than the first time I read. Yeah. It. I'm like super creeped, and then when I'm reading Lives, I don't remember. Th- I remember thinking the first time like, oh, you know, poor Liv, she's gonna go down this path and learn the hard way, and also it's a great story element, and I wasn't learning about it. The second time I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, she's so fucked. She's yeah. eating it up. I have to I'm say, like, oh my god, how old were you when you read it the first time? Ish. Over 29. 20? You think so? Yeah. Okay. So I'd be willing to bet, and I'd be interested uh, for if any of our listeners are pretty young, I'd be interested if there's any truth to this. But I'm curious mm. if more, if younger, more, uh, or less experienced people <laughs> actually are quite uh, enticed by the color prince. The colored prince's. Yeah stance on yeah. things like when you if you don't understand and haven't seen exactly how people use these tools to manipulate people yeah i wonder if there's anybody that's actually like oh man color prints may be like where it's at you know i mean yeah. he may end up being i have no idea but to me yeah. it just reeks of manipulation and power grabbing it reeks of it yeah actually the one thing that was really interesting i remember the first time i was reading it i was like oh man Kip's got it right. And then Liv's going through this whole thing, and I'm like, well, maybe he's not quite as wrong as... It. I mean, he... You know, maybe Kip's the extreme and Liv's the extreme, and there's yeah. just two extremes. I'm reading it again, and I'm like, holy shit, Kip got it exactly right. Mm-hmm. And he immediately goes, how can Liv even believe this bullshit coming out of this guy's mouth? Yeah. Um, and it wasn't even that Kip might be right on some of the other things. He might be wrong on some of the other things. Color Prince might be right, but Kip senses innate... Yeah. All of the manipulations that this yeah. guy uses. So, like, I, like I said last episode, uh, I think it's almost, almost impossible to entice and manipulate people with all lies. Yep. Like everything has, all you have to have something in there that people are like, I. Don't